So I summoned the head football coach to my classroom because I knew nothing about this young man. The only thing I knew was he was fearless and he was big. So I figured he must play some football. In Pearl River County, Mississippi, we are serious about ball. We just won back-to-back state 5A uh, championships. And um, he just looked like a linebacker to me. So Coach Lee came to my room and I said, do we have a Dwayne Baptiste on our team? And he took a step back. He said, please tell me he's not in your room. I said, he is, why? He said, he's one of the most talented linebackers I've ever coached, number two in the state. But he's the most toxic, defiant. Get him out of your room. You see, I kicked him off the team. And you know, for that kind of talent, that was unheard of. So I got a funny feeling in my gut. You know, here we got this magnificent player who's a part of a family, a football team. And under Friday night lights, they're calling his name often, and it's not enough. Could me giving him this little job, like elementary teachers do, be enough to empower him? Absolutely. So... Day two, I'm standing at my door, and I'm looking up and down the halls, hoping to see him on time, and it's actually five minutes early, and I hear him before I see him, and he's pushing little lost ninth graders up against lockers, and it's like a metaphor to me of what maybe a black Moses would be part in the Red Sea. It's just, they're just parting for him. And he's screaming these words that I just want to resonate with your soul. Everybody move out of my way. Move out of my way. I got to get to Miss P's class on time because she has a job for me there. Hmm. For the first time, I had purpose in an academic setting. Please do not think just because that young lady, that young man gets off that bus or gets out that car every day that they have purpose in an academic setting. They're forced to do that. It's out of their control. They can't say I don't want to go to school and they're not going to come to school anymore. So please do not assume that because you see them every day that they have purpose in an academic setting because I didn't have any, so I created my own. A negative sense of belonging outdoes no sense of belonging at all. So that's what I created. So then my name began to carry myself, it carry itself. My fourth grade teacher told my fifth grade teacher, oh, baby, (laughs) next year you got DJ. Now my fifth grade teacher whole summer Ruined. <laughs> because all she can do is think of ways of how she gonna make DJ sit down and shut up. So the first day of fifth grade looks like this. DJ, sit down, shut up. I don't care what they let you do last year. This is fifth grade, not fourth. Guess what? On the first day she could have built a bridge, she burned it. My message is, I don't care what that young man did last year. I don't care what that young lady did last year. You be the teacher that allowed them to start fresh because you can save them now. That's how much power you have in what you do. But you won't be able to make that connection if you do not remove yourself from the equation. 